everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do an updated review video on the Signage of Mod 10 preview build ROM on the Sprint Samsung Galaxy S3. Doing an updated video as is pretty much a daily driver now as some things have been fixed. Big shout out and thanks to my man Noob NL for uh, getting pretty much these things going for us and everyone else involved. Uh, but yeah, it's July 23rd, so this is the build from then. I do have a video showing you how to install the ROM, so I will link to that in the description. But let's just go ahead and get into it. Um, I mean, one of the main things that's been fixed is the camera. So uh, you will notice that the camera does work now. Uh, you can just continuously take pictures. You can swipe from the right, and it previews those pictures. Swipe back from the left, goes back to the camera application, and there you go. So I mean... Very awesome, as you can see, no issues. Let's go ahead and go to video recorder. And there we go, so we're recording. It says touch to take a photo while recording. So tap there and you take a picture. So that's very awesome. And there you have it, hit stop. And we can swipe to the right to preview that video, I believe, maybe not. So looks like it doesn't let us preview that video. Oh, those pictures we took, um, there we go. And there we go. so we're recording it, just touch to take a photo while there you go. So I mean obviously video recording works great. Taking pictures works great, awesome. Um, lock screen wise, obviously Jelly Bean lock screen. CM10 is a Jelly Bean based ROM. You got uh, Google Now there, unlock and camera. Let's go ahead and go down and go into settings actually and go down to about phone. Under about phone you'll see Android version 4.1.1. That would be Jelly Bean of course. Uh, signage of mod version 10 right there. Obviously that we have that little uh, jelly bean Easter egg where you quickly tap on the Android version and then you can press and hold on the guy and you got jelly beans right there. But what signage has done is under signage of mod version quickly tap on that and you will see you got signage of mod 10 right there. Press and hold on them and you got these SID heads that you can kind of just push around there. So very cool. Uh, nice little hidden signage of mod Easter egg uh, that is new. Uh, so you got that as well. So obviously that's uh, that's neat. Always love those Easter eggs. And yeah, I mean that would be uh, the settings, letting you know you're running CM10. Of course, uh, obviously you got your basically stock Jelly Bean applications. Um, one thing that really doesn't work. The only thing that really doesn't work is receiving picture messaging. But it, what the thing is, it does work. It's just. What happens is in the stock messaging application is you can send picture messages with the stock messaging application just fine. It works. But when you receive one, it will come up as this and you'll see download right there. So you'll get it, but it'll just say download. And what happens is when you download it, it won't work. It's not going to download. So what you can do is actually um, go ahead and go and get an application called Go SMS Pro. So you can get Go SMS Pro, and when you go into it then, you can go into the message, and you can actually hit download in Go SMS Pro, and the picture message is going to download. So you'll see it'll, it'll download right away. It says, here you go, and view it, and there we go. I got a picture of a puppy right there. And there it is. So, I mean, it works if you have Go SMS Pro. While in Go SMS Pro, just make sure you go into settings, and under settings, notification settings, Turn off notifications, turn off enable pop-up windows, and under receive settings, uncheck disable other message notification, and you'll be good to go because obviously you want to use a stock messaging application, or you can just use a Go SMS messaging application, then you won't have any issues whatsoever with anything. So, I mean, it's up to you. That's really the only bug, but I mean, it still works, so it's pretty much a daily driver. That's really the only main bug that you run into. GPS worked just great for me. Uh, calls work fine. Text messages work great. Um, I mean, 3G is working fine. I'm on 3G now, actually, and it's working just fine. Uh, Wi-Fi connected as well. Again, I got a GPS lock, so there we go. Load up Google.com and our stock browser right there. Uh, Application-wise, I mean, nothing really out of the ordinary Apollo uh, music application from Cyanogen right there. So obviously pretty cool there. You got ROM Manager, it is pre-rooted. You do have Super User as well. Um, I mean, all your basic widgets as well. Nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, when you pull down notification drawer right here, obviously you got that updated Jelly Bean notification drawer. But you also have notification shortcuts up at the top, uh, some quick panel widgets, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and sound, where you can turn sound on, off, vibrate. Um, 
you can also change those. So we go into settings and under settings, you will see there's lock screen settings and system settings. So go into your system settings and under notification drawer, you will see we have uh, widget buttons right there. So press on that and you can change which buttons are there. So you can toggle airplane mode, toggle brightness, toggle lock screen, toggle LTE. Oh, one more thing that doesn't work is LTE. At least it says uh, on the site that CDMA LTE support is broken. So uh, if you're in an LTE area, don't expect it to work. Uh, you can toggle mobile data, sync, Wi-Fi, AP, WiMAX, and all that good stuff. So there we go. I added a bunch of them. I pulled down my notification drawer, and you'll see they were all added. That wi that uh, airplane mode, brightness, lock screen, LTE, and data were all added. You can swipe across there to uh, get to more of them. You can change the order of them as well. Um, and there you have it. So, I mean, that's really great. Uh, that you have those options with that notification drawer. You have status bar settings as well. You can show clock and PM style, battery status style. So you have uh, icon percentage and hidden, uh, signal status style, um, and show notification count. So those are some settings as well. Otherwise, lock screen setting wise, uh, you can have security where you can use face unlock, pattern pin, password slide, all of those basic ones. You can change your background, owner info, weather, calendar, and slider shortcuts there. So slider shortcuts, you can uh, actually add a couple customizable uh, shortcuts. So if you want the messaging application there, just drag up there, go to empty, go to applications, and scroll down and find messaging, and there it is. Hit OK, and then hit save in the bottom right. And then our new lock screen shortcut has been saved. So now when we go to our lock screen, you should be able to have a shortcut to the messaging application. And there it is. It should take you directly to it, and it did. So very awesome that you have those customizable ones now. Obviously, you have uh, Google Now as well. You can go up to it there. I haven't opened it yet, so this is the first time. Discover it, and we will see. All right, so we've got Google Now loaded on up. You will see White Sox winning. All right. Um, anyways, uh, let's go ahead and test it out. What's the weather going to be like in Chicago, Illinois tomorrow? Forecast for Chicago tomorrow is 82 degrees with a chance of storm. All right, there you go. 82 degrees tomorrow, chance of storm in Chicago, Illinois. There it is. So very cool. Um, I love Google now. It's it's great. So uh, you're definitely gonna have to check that out if you uh, use a CM10 ROM, obviously. So press and hold that home button, and you got your recent running apps list. Feels very smooth. Uh, swipe away applications to get rid of them, of course. Uh, but that's that's really about it. Go to your widgets, and when you actually press and hold on one of them and try and put it on a home screen, it reorders whatever icons are already on your home screen. You'll see, to, so you can put that widget there. Um, obviously, you don't have to do that, but yeah. So that's got another nice jelly bean feature there. You can pull down the notification bar while your lock screen is open. Obviously, change something. Uh, Google now lets you know the game in progress, what the score is. That's pretty sweet. I uh, always love seeing the White Sox winning. That's really about it though. That's just about everything I wanted to cover for you guys. Uh, I mean, obviously you can use a stack browser. You got Chrome as well, which is usually what I use. Uh, other than that though, that's that's just about it. That would be the SignageMod 10 updated ROM review on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Expect to run into some bugs here and there. Most likely it is still a preview build. So again, you're probably gonna have a couple bugs obviously you got a notification here usually you can extend them um, I don't know why it's not letting me but uh, expect to be able to do that as well swipe away your notifications that you don't want to see or tap that icon and it gets rid of them and that's it so you're gonna have to let me know what you think if you guys are running this on your device again it could potentially be a daily driver as all of those things are now pretty much working uh, so let me know what you think be sure to leave a comment be sure to subscribe as well follow me on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus all links will be in the description of the video below and as always thanks for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up